<sighs> All right, what's going on folks wrestling otaku back here on the fortune 4 shooters channel with yet another video Where I have to do yet another response and actually today There's going to be several things that I'm going to be responding to that I need to address in this video uh, Specifically some stuff that happened yesterday specifically around late evening last night So first I want to start with this savers of YouTube you guys are fucking done. Okay, you guys have tried your damnedest to try to twist this whole thing around on me, even though your fucking guy, Team Iggy, your guy, girl, whatever the hell he is behind that account, whoever the hell it is behind that account, tried to twist it around on me, tried to say, oh, you should have given me access, even though your bitch ass came to me, wanting an alliance and all that shit, and I fucking believe, and I fucking trust you, and you fucking do that shit to me. That makes you the turncoat. That makes you the piece of shit, not me. And all you dumbasses, all these dumbass other other people coming out of the woodwork, all these fucking fags with their 20 fucking fake accounts want to post a bunch of bullshit on my videos, making these lame ass fucking diss track videos and all that, and you really think you're accomplishing something. Well, I got news for you guys. You're you're irrelevant. Okay? You're beyond irrelevant at this point. I mean, really, I was just biding my time just messing with you clowns. But now, it's time to end it. It's time to put you guys down once and for all. So here it is, man. Here it is. You guys are fucking done. Okay? When those strikes take effect, your channels will be fucking gone. It is what it is. You brought it on yourselves. You really thought that you were something... You, were really, you guys really thought that you were something special on here. You're really not. And any clowns, what makes it worse, these clowns want to go around and claim victory like they actually accomplished something. You didn't, you didn't get a victory over any damn body. You didn't beat any damn body. Okay, going on 20, going on your fake ass, you know, sock account, <clears throat> going on your fake ass sock accounts and mass disliking videos and spamming videos with comments and shit, that doesn't, <clears throat> that's not a victory. Making lame ass diss videos and, and, uh, uh, whatever the hell rap video, whatever the hell videos you make, making lame ass fucking diss videos, that's not a victory. What I did was a victory. I exposed your asses. I exposed your entire fucking group in several videos. Me and Yo Man, for that matter, and props to him for that video, exposing your dumb asses. That's a that's a burial. That's a victory. I find it funny how <clears throat> I find it funny how recently every time I do a live stream on my main channel, be it a wrestling review or whatever it is I'm doing or giving my thoughts on the wrestling show, you clowns show up in the comments trying to talk shit or whatever. Yet, uh, during times when I have made live streams on this channel and I've called your bitch asses out, you no show. So what is that? What is that? That's a cop out. That's a bitch out move. So take this L, faggots. Take this damn L and you stick with it. Okay, you stick with it. You guys are done. Gone. Over. Buried. Finished. Alright? You, you, you honestly thought you were a match for me. You couldn't even beat one goddamn person. You couldn't even beat one person on here. Two, three years ago, however long ago it was. You couldn't beat one person. And you really thought you were a match for me or this group. Get the fuck out of here, man. You clowns are a joke. You guys are pathetic. You guys are done. That's it. So you guys are done. That's really it. I don't really have anything more to say than that. You guys are done. Savers of YouTube, you guys are fucking done, dude. But anyway, moving on. Moving on from that. So I want to address something real quick. Several things, actually. Now, last night, there was a live stream on Dragon Zeo Knight's channel. I happened to catch parts of it. And he was basically... It was supposed to be a live stream about how... Um, other channels that he was going to be featured on, what have you, and then people came in and made it about drama. It seems like every time he does a live stream, all these people come in and want to make it about some stupid shit. It's like, if you're going to do that, do it on somebody else's stream. Don't come on his stream, you know, where he's trying to do something, and then bring all this drama shit. I mean, that's bullshit, man. Man, our, our Dragon Man, you gotta have a little control over who you're bringing on these streams and what they're saying, man. But anyway, you know, these guys are coming on there. There's some big drama <clears throat> between a bunch of people. A bunch of people I don't really, don't really care for, honestly. Specifically, there was this thing between Bliss Quinn and, uh, and, and Angel Chaos where Bliss Quinn and her friends, quote-unquote, were accusing Angel Chaos of being a pedophile or whatever. And there was this big thing where there were screenshots and all that shit. I'm not going to get into the details. I don't care. It's not my concern. But here's the thing, man. People are now saying, and, and near the end of this, you know, a after this whole thing was said and done, People exonerated 
Angel of Chaos because, you know, there was no legit evidence that he was a pedophile and all that shit. And all these people were coming to his defense. And they were all saying, oh, Bliss Quinn is an instigator. And Bliss Quinn set him up, yada, yada, yada. Here's what I want to say. And I said this in the, in the comments last night, too, during the live chat. You all are just now figuring out that Bliss Quinn is an instigator and a troll and what have you. Uh, well, congratulations. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. I've been knowing that for months now. I've known that Bliss Quinn was a piece of shit for months now. And a troll and an instigator. I've known that for months. Okay, you're all a day late and a dollar short on that, quite frankly. I mean, how many freaking messages, harassing messages, harassing comments, videos talking shit about me constantly from her and her associates, and some of which, some of, some of, some of which, you guys were even a part of that, that group. You guys were even a part of that shit, doing diss videos on me and shit. And now, now you figure out, oh, this person's a troll, she's a shit starter, an instigator, whatever. Well, I say she, but it's not really she, but I'll get into that later. Again, that's another topic for another time. But, but yeah, man, you guys just now figuring this out. I've known this for fucking months. It's the same thing with the Hiroshimaru situation. You all were taking his fucking side and going at me, right? Saying, oh, you're a bully. Oh, he's bullying him, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't do shit to this guy. I've known this guy was a pe I've known this guy was a fucking liar and an instigator for years. And you guys are just now figuring this out. Once again, a day late and a dollar short. So the bottom line of this whole thing is that you don't ever, ever fucking doubt me about things like this. When I tell you somebody's a piece of shit, when I tell you somebody's a fucking troll and an instigator, and I see and I see a lot of the dark side of people, okay? People, I see, I see an awful lot of this. I see the dark side in people all the fucking time. So when I say that this person is this, I fucking mean it. You ass clowns want to go around and side with these guys. Yet when something happens to you or something happens to somebody you like, now it's a problem. Now it's a problem. Go figure. Go fucking figure. So just want to correct, just want to just kind of rub that in. Just kind of want to bring that up. You're just now realizing this shit? I've known it for months. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. And you know what, Angel of Chaos, man? For all the accusations, whatever, honestly, I have no I have no sympathy for you, dude. Even when you were being accused, I had no sympathy for you. Because guess why? Because you're a piece of shit, too. And you brought it on your damn self. You brought it on yourself. You'll have nobody but yourself to blame. So I have no sympathy for you, dude. None. Zero. So I could care less. I really could care less. Whether people think you're a pedophile or not, I could care less. People accuse me of that shit, but I had a little thing called facts to back up my case. So there you go. Just wanted to point that out. Now, getting to getting to business. There's one other specific person that I want to do a response to in this video. Somebody who decided that he wants to talk shit yet again. He wanted to try to decide that he wants to buck up to me yet again. And that is you, Hangman Charlie. You see, Hangman Charlie, you honestly think you're something big around here. You honestly think you're a big deal. To me, honestly, you're not. Okay? I was trying to be nice to you. I was trying to be courteous. I was trying to be civil with your ass. When we were joining, when we were live streams together and all that, I didn't start nothing with you. When I was in the comments and certain videos, live streams, I didn't start nothing with you. Because at the time, I thought the shit was done. But last night, what did you do? You came in there all hot. Because of the angel chaos shit or whatever. Whatever little drama you were talking about with whoever. You disrespect yo man when he was trying to talk when he was in the stream. And then later on you decide you want to talk trash to me. In the comment section. Going back and forth in the comment section. It's like dude, I thought you were done. I thought you were done. You're trying to talk shit to me again? You want to tell me oh, oh eat a dick and all that? I'm sure you love doing that. I mean, you're, that's probably your fate. I mean, that's probably what you do. I mean, you're a Roman Reigns supporter, obviously. Roman Reigns supporters take a lot of dick. And by the way, fuck Roman Reigns. So, so anyway, hey man, Charlie, you want to start shit with me again? Really? Really? And you were talking all this mad shit in the comments. Then you, then you decided to come in the stream and fucking do this lame-ass garbage parody. Fucking, you, you tried to come in there under my name, you had one of my pictures or whatever, and you were trying to imitate me. Piss poor ass imitation, by the way. You did this for like 20, 30 minutes. It dragged on for fucking ever. It's like, would this dude make his point already? 
like 20, 30 minutes, this dude tried to imitate me and shit. It was piss poor. It was honestly sad. It was honestly sad. It was a lame ass fucking attempt to try to try to try to try to mock me or whatever. It was lame as fuck, dude. Honestly. Honestly. And then finally Dragon had the guts to say, you know what, I'm ending the stream. And then you decided to leave. And here's the thing, man. You really think that you really think that you're something special around here, dude. You really do. You wanna try to talk shit to me again, even though, again, I was trying to be courteous with your ass? Let me, let me, let me, and also, and also the reason, I know the reason why, I know the reason why you were talking shit to me in those comments. Oh, what was it? Oh, because you were butthurt about the fact that I said you didn't bury me. Or that fact that I said you didn't beat me. Well, again, yeah, I'm going to ask that here. When did you bury me? When did you beat me? When did this happen? Oh, in the F4S live stream that I brought you on to where you talked over me, you and your little friend talked over me for an hour? Is that it? Or is it the other live stream where I was putting you in your place with facts and then I had to leave early? Okay, that's, that's such a burial. Wow, great. Perfect. Excellent. You know something? You and Cringe City... You and Hiroshimaru, you, you guys have something in common. Because neither one of you have any idea what the fuck a burial is. You seem to be clueless as to what the definition of a burial is. A burial is when you go at somebody, you beat them with facts, you beat them with logic, you beat them with truth, to the point where they have no counter or legit argument. Or, they can, or you beat them to the point where they, they have no comeback. And they, they don't come back. That is a bear in wrestling terms, bearing somebody is beating them to the point of they'll they'll never be the same again. Well, I went up against you in those two streams, and look, I'm still here. I'm still doing videos. I've still done a multitude of videos with significant viewership, mind you. I've got monetization now. So let me ask you again, when was I ever buried? Not just by you, but by anybody. Never. Never. You are as oblivious about that term as Hiroshimaru is. None, neither one of you clowns ever buried me. Understand that. You really think you're something big. You really think you're something tough. You really think you're a match for me? Let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay, I got a challenge for you, actually. If you think you're so, such this, this big-ass fucking tough guy, you think you're so untouchable, why don't you try going after somebody... Like, oh, I don't know, JD from NY. Why don't you try going after somebody like Joe Cronin? Why don't you try going after somebody like Sean's V Entertainment? Somebody like Bruce Blitz? Or Wrestling Jesus? Or the Smart Busters? Or MT Omar Reviews? Or, or OTRS Central? Or any one of those channels? Any Those channels that I just named? Those are big name, significant figures in the YouTube wrestling community. Those are significant names in this community. I have done videos. I have gone at each and every single one of those individuals in the last five years. I took shit from them. I took shit from their fans. And look, I'm still standing. I'm still here. Imagine that. You know why? Because those guys, regardless of what they say, regardless of what their fans say, they can't beat me. They couldn't beat me with facts. They couldn't beat me with logic. I was in the right on all those occasions. I had every right to make videos on them when I did. And I came out, and they, they tried everything they can to try to put pressure on me. Everything they can to try, to try to belittle me and troll me and all that shit. And I survived. I'm still fucking here. I'm still standing. Somebody like you? A guy like you? You wouldn't last two seconds against any of those names I just mentioned. So where's the tough guy act now? Where's the tough guy act now? But yeah, you honestly think you're hard, dude. You really do. You want to go in there with this lame-ass fucking parody. You want to make all these little lame-ass slanders jokes about me and all that shit. Same thing when you were in the chat, even though I wasn't even though I wasn't really talking to your ass. But yeah, I went back and forth with you because I ain't no fucking punk. I ain't going back down to you. I ain't going back down to anybody. But then you decide, and this is the thing. This is the big thing for me. You decide to do the one thing. Just when I thought you couldn't be any more of a dickhead. You decide to go in there and do the one thing that honestly is fucking low. As absolutely as low as you can get. Even for somebody like you. 
You want to go and you want to crack jokes about my deceased grandmother? Really? Really, motherfucker? Really, you want to go there, huh? Really? That's where we're going. You want to make it personal, huh? You really want to make it personal. You know what? I've had a lot of shit said to me in five years. Really, I, scratch that. I've had a lot of shit said to me in 12 years. In my 12 years being online, being on the internet. I've had a lot of shit thrown to me. Never once did I think somebody was going to use a personal tragedy or the passing of a relative as a way to try to mock me. Never did I think that. But you, you just blew my fucking mind. You were the first one to do it. So that's where we're going, huh? You want to make this shit personal. You want to sit here and mock my grandmother's passing. You want to take shots at my... You want to take shots at me for my deceased grandmother? Really? We're doing that shit? Huh, let me think about this for a second here. Let me think. Actually, you know what? I remember something. It's funny that you're doing that because I seem to remember a couple weeks ago... You and your little buddy, J-Man's legit, that little roided up, weeded up, cracked up, coked up dude, whoever the fuck he is, that crazy ass fucking hair, you and that dude were getting on Dark Horse's case because you thought he was defending somebody who took shots at his dead deceased. So yeah, so dude, I find it hypocritical how you're going to take fucking shots at me and my deceased grandmother. Yeah, you're gonna fucking give Dark Horse shit for supposedly supporting someone who said something about J-Man's deceased brother. I find that very hypocritical. Very fucking hypocritical. And just it goes to show you how much of a piece of shit human being you fucking are, dude. And also on top of that, what makes matters worse is that the fucking clowns that were in the stream with you... I mean, not, not, only, did they, not only did they not say anything, not only did they not call this shit out... They were fucking joining in. They were yucking the shit up. Fucking losers, dude. Bunch of fucking losers. The whole group of you. Minus Arthur. The whole fucking group of you. That fucking one freaking guy. That yin yang motherfucker who sounds like he can barely talk. Why don't you learn some English, my friend? And then that other guy who's just a straight up fruitcake. Honest to God. And these clowns are fucking laughing it up. How would you like it if somebody made crack jokes about your deceased relative? You wouldn't like that shit, would you? You wouldn't like that shit. I guarantee you, you wouldn't like that shit. But yeah, man, so so here's the thing. You want to make this shit personal, right? You want to make this shit personal with me, Hangman Charlie? Because, again, you got all butt hurt that I said you never buried me? You want to make shit personal with me? Well, don't be surprised when somebody make, gets personal with you back. How's that daughter of yours doing, by the way? You know, I, I find it funny, too. I made a little remark about... That whole remark about you puffing the cigarettes and then you assume that I was stalking you or what the fuck ever. Uh, not really. You're the one bringing up my videos, yet I'm stalking you. <laughs> or ironic. But anyway, that that remark I made about you puffing cigarettes, because every, every time I see you in freaking videos, you're fucking smoking. And honestly, dude, you need to chill out with that shit. Because that shit is bad for your health. It's hazardous for your health. Okay, you could get lung cancer, you could get any sort of things, and you're gonna die young. Just give, try to give you some friendly advice. Honestly, I was honestly trying to give you some advice. But hey, man, according to you, nobody cares what I think. Go ahead, get lung cancer and die. I, you know, <laughs> don't skin off my nose. You do you, man. But how's that daughter of yours gonna feel when you pass away and she grows up without a daddy? But then again, she might be on. She might be better off then again she might be better off that way because honestly based on things that i'm seeing from you you're not much of a real father anyway oh yeah i went there yeah yeah i went there oh he went there yep i went there what are you gonna do about it what are you gonna do about it not a damn thing not a damn thing you want to make shit personal i can make shit personal too so here's what's gonna happen here's what's gonna happen hang man Here's what's going to happen. You announced this little live stream you're doing. This uh, Hangman Outcast live stream you're supposedly doing on Monday on your birthday, apparently. whoop de doo And you invited me, or you can't, you wanted me to join you, quote-unquote, again, another fail burial. You want to attempt another fail burial, because the first two obviously failed. So you want to attempt the third one. Well, here's the thing, man. I'm going to tell you right now, I will not be joining that live stream on Monday. 
And I know what you're gonna say. I know what you kiss asses. I know what your kiss ass little subs and your kiss ass uh, co-hosts or whatever, uh, you know, that, that join you on those streams are gonna say. And I find it funny how you talk about how I'm gay, how I have a pussy, this, that, and the other. I don't like women yet. You do videos and all you are, all you do is do videos with other dudes, with other men. Making dick jokes and cum jokes and all that shit. Yet I'm the gay one. Yeah, great. But anyway, I will not be joining that live stream. Here's why. You see, man, you don't understand how things work around here, do you? You really don't understand how things work around here. Because you don't run things around here. You don't tell me when I come. I am the YWC champion. I am the YWC president. I dictate... What I do, okay, I don't jump when anyone else says jump. So no, I will not be on that stream on Monday. When I get the opportunity to, when I feel it is convenient for me, I will do a stream and I will bring your ass onto it. Then we will have our stream. Then you will get a chance to redeem yourself. And when I make that stream, whenever I decide to do it, could be next week, could be the week after, could be the week after. When it, like I said, whatever is convenient for me. Because you don't make the rules around here, buddy. Buddy, I do. Okay? This is on, we do this on my time. You understand? So whenever I do this stream, whenever I decide to call you out for this stream, you better fucking show up. You better show up. Or, well, I'll just say what, what you tend to say about other people. Ew. It looks like you were going to pussy out. So, we do this on my time and on my terms. And also, I just thought I'd mention this too. You want to say fuck Malik X? Well, I'm actually cool with Malik X. Malik X is actually a bit of a friend of mine. I don't think he's going to take too kindly of that. But I'm sure he's going to answer you and reply to you in his own way. But as far as I go... So, yeah. You want to... As far as I go... You want to run your mouth, you want to talk like you're hard, you want to come at me, you want to make this shit personal, well you know something, you're going to find out real quick that not everybody is going to take your shit. You're going to find out real quick that you're not as big as you claim to be. And I showed you that right here in this very video. And you want to talk about, you want to know what a burial is because you seem to be misinformed about what a burial is? Everything I just mentioned in this video in the last 10, 20 minutes, that's a burial. So there you go. Take it for what you will. When I decide to do that live stream, I will make that call. And you damn well better show up. So until then, that's really all I have left to say to you. So that's all I want to say for this. So fuck the haters. Fuck the savers of YouTube. Fuck Hey Man Charlie. You can do exactly what you told me last night, eat a dick, preferably Roman Reigns's, because you seem to like that. And fuck everybody else who has a problem with wrestling otaku or the Fortune 4 shooters. So there you have it. Another ownage. And I did it all by myself. Imagine that. Imagine that. So that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. So thanks for watching once again, guys. Till next time, wrestling otaku, represent F4S. You all have a happy Thanksgiving.